We got a couple new uh, videos from video updates from these lovely uh, Las Vegas ba based filmmakers uh, who are heavily associated with me for different reasons. <laughs> well, actually the same reason pretty much, but both have had very different life trajectories. Um, cool cat, Neil Breen. We're going to see how both of them are doing. Neil Breen's got two update videos, which I'm very excited about. Cool cat's got a couple. Cool cat's got a new character. Beaver. <laughs> Let's see how Beaver is. Oh my God. Nine minutes of just the end credits of the movie. Okay. This is interesting. All right. Beaver. Beaver. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, we need the audio. Sorry. Derek's still Derek's still in 720p. Okay, I just need to see what the fuck Neil Breen. I want to see if Neil uh, is... Neil Breen has made it to 1080p enhanced bitrate. Okay, Derek. Even though this is clips from his new film <laughs> and not an update video. It's still uploading in 720p. Let's see if we let's see let's see if we can get with the times eventually, because that would be nice. <laughs> the posture. The posture. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I have to remove my face for a hot second here. Just this just the the awkward like the awkward walk that Joe Biden did recently as he left whatever meeting because he obviously pooped his pants. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the exact same thing that happened in. Uh... What's that movie? This is what's the movie? It was Stephanie Myers, the host where Andrew Nichol. Cle the the actor is standing just behind frame and as the camera pans uh to reveal the actor you can see them start to walk the implication is that they were walking the whole time but the problem is that they weren't walking before the camera saw them they were just starting to walk so you can tell yeah you can see you can see a little bit of not moving here. <laughs> hey, look, Jared's back and they're moving some bodies. And I like how at the beginning of the shot, everyone's standing perfectly still waiting for the director to tell them when to start moving. Seems like something that wouldn't really take that long to reshoot if you gave a shit. <laughs> you can see him start the walk, which I like. Um, and, uh, you know, Andrew Nichol, the writer of The Truman Show and director of in time and Gattaca and Stephanie Myers, the host and some other things that are bad. He did the same thing. So you can, uh, do anything you set your mind to. Also, I have autism. Probably <laughs> this is a beaver. <laughs> Hi, cool cat. Why does that voice sound so familiar? Okay. I'll bring back chat now that, um, it's not blocking anything. My name is Peter. It's Sacers. God damn it. It's but I just, maybe I should set, have my stream set up in a different way in the future and just have the video smaller. That's not something I can deal with right now, though. Save the world for Dirty Doll. You're so cool. And I, I just want to know what he was saying. I was caught off guard by the voice, but I don't know what he was actually saying. So I'm going to have to repeat that. I think he said, hi, cool keck. Hi, cool keck. My <laughs> he actually did say, hi, cool keck. <laughs> that reminds me of the MLG uh, top keck. Oh, yeah, he is in front of the Twin Towers. So I was about to say, show that image. But uh, maybe we shouldn't. YouTube's sensitive about those things. 
name is Peter. It's thanks for I, I heard Peter, even though I know the character's name is Beaver. I heard Peter. And my name is Peter. It's All right. Thanks for saving the world from Dirty Dog. S thanks for something, Dirty Dog. Hold on. My name is Peter. It's thanks for saving the world from Dirty Dog. And thanks for saving the world from Dirty Dog. Okay, so we're getting spoilers. Also, Cool Cat has some fucking bling now. I don't know if that's like a wedding ring <laughs> like, on his necklace. I don't know what's going on here. Cool Cat also lost a lot of weight in between the last time that we saw him. Cool Cat looks very skinny now. Um, there's been a miracle performed. <laughs> you can see how baggy... Even in, the, even in the shins. Even in the shins, Cool Cat lost weight. Which is crazy. <laughs> I like I like I like the reaction image here because Cool Cat is like stunned and unable to say anything apparently. It's like it's like Cool Cat didn't know that he could come across a beaver that could talk. It's like Cool Cat's just as shocked about this as anyone would be. The world from Dirty Dog. <laughs> <laughs> just like <laughs> this blank this blank scared weird expression is always just so much fun. I did a couple slow zooms on things similar to that in my Cool Cat video. I'm sorry, I just... I, how do I turn a 49 second video into like five minutes? This is crazy. I just, every time. You're so cool, and I love you. Thanks, Beaver, and I love you too. Bye-bye for now. Whew. for the kids and he's so cool damn i didn't know that cool cat was that cool also bank gothic font what the heck worldwide virtual movie premiere december 9th 20 20... oh shit i gotta write it on my calendar december uh, but do we believe that that's actually gonna happen on that date is what uh <laughs> is what i'm curious about do we even believe should I write it on my calendar? I can't really plan a watch along party if we don't even really know if it's going to happen at, on that point in time, right? So I don't know. I'm not saying he's lying. I'm saying that there's probably something he didn't account for that will prevent it from happening. I'm not saying he's intentionally saying something that he believes not to be true. I'm just saying. I'm just saying I'm not going to pre order it. <laughs> <laughs> tickets pre-order your tickets is a funny way to describe like not actually having a ticket and it not being a movie in theater but cool cat the real hero for the kids and he's so cool how do they make it turn was it string cool cat, the real hero for the kids and he's so cool. It's probably string or something. Anyway, that was cool. Uh, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go a little back and forth here. Should we? We go right to Neil Breen. Let's just at least see his poster update. Oh, there's no audio. Oh, the. These are these are equally fascinating characters, and they're both filmmakers that live in Las Vegas. Um, no audio for this Neil Breen. So I'm assuming what he's saying here is he added a couple words. Okay, one now it says 153 theatrical screenings worldwide as of November 2023. Although he didn't update the IMDb rating, I don't know if that's still at eight. Let's check that one out. Let's. Did he actually update the IMDb rating? Maybe it was like 9.2 at one point. Cade the Tortured Crossing. Okay, it's at a 7.4 right now. Um. 
so this was the old poster. So essentially what he did, uh, I rated it a 10, by the way. I'm just letting everybody know. Um, this is the old poster, and I guess he just made it very tall so that it no longer exists in the format of regular posters. Like if somebody, if, if there was a theater that wanted to, to, to put this poster in the regular glass or plastic showing spot, you know, like if they wanted to put a physical poster there to advertise the screening, they would have, they would have to have like black bars on the side to make it fit the proper aspect ratio. Sorry. Con <laughs> con can con continental film festival, France semi-finalist official selection. What is that film festival? Because that's not that's not Festival de Cannes <laughs> or Cannes. That's not what that is. That's very funny. I love that there's another allegedly that there's another film festival with the word Cannes in the. T I mean, Cannes is a place, so you're allowed to have more than one film festival there. Let's just see what the fuck is going on. Cannes. Uh, what is the whole title? Continental Film Festival. It's difficult to find the official website, uh, which is always a good sign for a film festival. Um, oh, God. Neil Breen's website is fucking updated. This is crazy. The Man, the Myth, the Movies. Wow. This is a very... What? Oh, wait. This has to be... No, this is not his website. This is someone else's website. Why would it say other oddities? Why would it say other oddities? What? No, this cannot be his website. Why would Tommy Wiseau? Be, he would never do this to himself. He would never put himself here next to Tommy Wiseau and James Wynn. No, this is someone else's website. All right, I found one of Neil's old websites. Fa I remembered it by heart. Fatefulfindings.biz. <laughs> this is this is one of Neil Breen's ones. So what is there? All right, and then there's another one. Pass through, sorry, pass-through-film.com. And then his newest, I think he creates a website for every movie. Uh... Uh, whatever um yeah that other website was definitely not owned by him i don't know what the hell anyway i tried to find that con not festival de con <laughs> uh but the other con film festival i tried to find it and it wasn't working out so anyway no audio poster update very cool video thank you neil uh seven thousand views eight days ago compared to Introducing yeah. Beaver compared Neil Breen's sorry Neil Breen's silent single image video posted eight days ago it has seven thousand views and then Cool Cat is posting footage from his own film and it has two point four thousand views from two weeks ago. I've just, all right, there's a comparison. All right, let's see what else cool cat finished this weekend. Let's watch that one. Hey guys, what's happening? Got some great news here. The cool cat versus dirty dog. The virus wars feature film will be completed. This the virus wars. <laughs> Are they both fighting each other with different biological warfare? This weekend and it is just so sweet i'm or so cool cat's gonna hack dirty dog he's gonna have his own virus but it's different happy for it i'm so excited for you guys to see it as i stated before you never seen nothing like this oh. i believe him okay hey if you want your name in the movie go to coolcatlovesyou.com i still got a few associate producer um and executive sorry what <laughs> I still got a few associate producer. Um, 
I'm not even going to attempt that one, but I did hear, hear reducer. Um, and executive producer spaces. We just had an executive producer come in last night, so I only got two more sets of props. So if you're interested in those, hey, you got to jump on the bandwagon now. Guys, get ready to rock and roll with this new cool cat feature film. Hey, take it easy. Bye-bye now. Thank you. I got to sneeze. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, thanks. Uh, thanks, cool cat. And then, um, I mean, I love, I love Neil. I wish nothing but the best for Derek also, unironically. All right, let's see. We got nine minutes of end credits. Hey, or something, guys, right? what's, what's happening? Hey, I'll tell you what. If you love Cool Cat, then ooh, you are just going to love the nice um, little video. Hey, guys. We what? Cat, then ooh, you are just going to love the nice some little video. The nice some little video. I don't know what he's saying. Hey, guys. We got one scene left to shoot. It's just one in one third page. Film it tomorrow. Got all my equipment out, or a lot of my equipment out already. The whole apartment just looks like a little movie studio. I love how many, like, very, like, amateur filmmakers, they do this. That Neil Breen's done it, too. I mean, I don't know. Amateur is a strange word to use. I don't know what word to use. A lot of filmmakers that are um, exhibiting signs of kind of being insecure about the levels of legitimacy at which they're taken by the public... They like to do this thing where they they show all of their equipment in the frame. It's like the equipment doesn't really mean anything. It's just how you use it, right? Like you can make a movie with an iPhone and it can be a fucking masterpiece, right? So this is always a weird there's there's some people that I think we call them gearheads that are just so obsessed with it. I'm not saying Derek is this, but I it reminds me of these people. There's some people there's some people that are so obsessed with like the technical um like equipment names and like you know different different technical uh terms for different things that the equipment can do and they get so bogged down in that as a way to compensate for the fact that they they don't really know how to make art so they're like no look i went to film school i know how to make art because i i know what all these little things do it's like okay well do you have anything to express? Do you have like something in your soul that you know that you want to get out in a way that people connect with or are you just like you wanting the, the results of that without really doing it? Right here. And um this film You've never heard me say this in all the time I've been around. You, if you guys have been following, a lot of you have following me for a lot of years. <laughs> I, I have never heard you say whatever the hell you just said. I'm going to say something to you right now that I've never said to an all living soul in my life. You, if you guys have been following, a lot of you have following me for a lot of years. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think that that was like the extension of what he was saying. You've never heard me say this and then just kind of gibberish. You've never heard me say this in all. Uh, I love Derek. You've never heard me say this in all the time I've been around. You, if you guys have been following, a lot of you have following me for a lot of years. That reminded me of the um, Charles Manson, that clip of him going like, Are you mad? Uh, do you feel like wolves go bob right frantic? Get frantic, boots, 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 around a lot of years now you've never heard me i promise you you have never seen a film like our brand new one and that is black power cool cat versus dirty dog the virus wars i mean it is just i mean i'm sitting there at i It, this, this quote, I believe, it might be a family-friendly film at its funniest. I might, I might agree with that one. I like how a Derek Savage film is in quotes, though. <laughs> a Derek Savage film. <laughs> Editing, you know, and I'm just laughing. It is just fun. I mean, and um, okay, guys, 
at the right right after this i'm going to show you the clip i mean on, on the credits that we have you're going to show me the clip at the right right after this i'm going to show you the clip i mean on, on the credits that we have the credit runs the end credits and everything i find myself in a constant state of of like tr trying my best to not cross whatever sorry there's sirens cross whatever line there is in terms of like i love commenting on art and i believe that this is art and i love expressing and sharing what i value and appreciate and find funny or enjoyable about the art that i consume is there is there like a at what point in the future is it inappropriate? You know, I don't know. I don't know if we've hit that point, but we're going to we're going to keep doing it and see what happens. Um I'm going to purchase his film. And I'm going to support I'm going to support these artists and hope that they make more films. And I don't know where the line is. And I'm finding myself constantly asking my, myself that question. You got a chance to get your name in it. So if you want to add your name in it, you just have a couple weeks to make this happen. Go to my website, and that is coolcatlovesyou.com. It costs you 25 bucks to get your name in it. And um, um, so you can join this fabulous crowd that we got coming up. I'm about to show you here. Hey, I got a couple other things, too. Um, on one of the music I do support independent filmmakers. <laughs> videos. You can put it in there where I got a couple kids waving a cool cat. It's cool cat's new. Take a picture. I'll put a little bit out there on the next video or the one right after it. You know, so I can put a couple kids in there like waving a cool cat. So you get your own face in there and everything in the actual music video. Oh, he thinks he's talking to kids right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So I don't know where the, I'm just, I, there's some, there's a fascinating aspect to this. And I, I, what do we, what do we do? What do we do about this? Cause if I, if I stop, then <laughs> nobody buys his content. If I stop covering it, then nobody knows it exists. <laughs> right? <laughs> and um, and I'm su I'm supporting the sale. I'm support don't don't download it illegally. If you if you're if we know that we're actually getting something, then it is okay to give Derek Savage your money. I've only ever warned about pre-ordering and crowdfunding because in those situations we're not really sure we're actually getting anything back but if there's a if there's a film please, or a t-shirt buy it buy his stuff you know support the artist if you want to see more of the art um i thought that would be pretty fun hey i'll tell you what we got another theme you want to be an associate producer on the credit <laughs> <laughs> I like I like the seriousness and direct eye contact with that line and and also the pronunciation. All of it together is um art. I thought that would be pretty fun. Hey, I tell you what, we got another theme. You want to be an associate producer on the credit? I mean in, in, in the credits <laughs> and, and I just it's both of both Derek and Neil are like Tim and Eric characters and they're both very different, but they, they both have the Tim and Eric isms. Like that was, there was very much a, t a Tim Heidecker <laughs> line delivery. We've got another theme. <laughs> the, the serious, the, the mic drop moment of this is just really fascinating. And I love it. Pretty fun. Hey, I'll tell you what, we got another theme. You want to be an associate producer on the credit? I mean, in, in, in the credits and, and on a film that's really got some potential? 
I I love his ambition, or his verbally stated ambition at the very least. Here's your chance right here. Go over there and you get a nice package, you know, and all that. I'm not doing no Kickstarter crap or nothing like that. It's on my website. Only a couple of things. Oh, and the reason why well, it's only a couple of weeks, we're setting up our world Black Power virtual premiere for December the 9th. Yes, sir. Re Is that the same? That's the same date, right? With this new cool. Okay, it is. Okay, good. I was like, I was like, am I crazy? Three tickets are going to be five bucks each. I think that's a great price to watch just a film that I'm probably. Five bucks is a good deal, but I don't know if the movie's longer than 45 seconds, but we'll find out. I'm going to see it. You ain't never seen nothing like this one. I mean, this thing is just fun. <laughs> oh, cool cat, dirty dog. All, I mean, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> De Derek maniacally laughing while holding a COVID ball. Did he... Was he patient zero? Is this a, that Terry Gilliam movie? <laughs> 12 Angry Monkeys? This one. I mean, this thing is just fun. <laughs> Oh, cool cat, dirty dog. All, I mean, <laughs> I just I love writing that character. He's so much fun. And, um, and then we also have executive producer credits. I, so part of my internal struggle is I don't, I just don't, it's, it's, I, how do I differentiate between like, I don't want to just be like, oh, you have a speech impediment and like make fun of them for that you know i don't want to just be like oh you can't talk or something like that i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to feel like i'm being mean about it my the conflict comes from the fact that his his tim and eric his tim heidecker style line delivery and the way the ways in which he doesn't say things properly are just so golden and memeable. It's not like it's not like someone who has a lisp. It's not like someone who can't pronounce their Rs properly. It's not like consistent. He'll just say something completely wrong and it's not consistent in any way. And it sounds so good. It just sounds like alternative fuels. That was a great go and grink. Andre Grande. The fact that I can remember all of them. Andre Grande. <laughs> Nikki Nikki Maja. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on, and I that's this, this is part of the conflict. And I guess we're just we're all kind of just winging it through life, you know. Every one of us is kind of just winging it. Maybe some people more than others. I'm just trying. <laughs> and um, I just, the word producer is just very funny to me. I just. And then we also have executive producer credits. Oh, damn it. Credits. I'm trying so hard. Now that right there is. A <laughs> Ex executive producer. I'm trying so hard though. It's it, they're all they're all worth like the memory catalog, right? They're all worth it. Boy, now with the executive producer credit, you're going to get your own billboard on the front credits, which means a, a, a thing a credit would just. <laughs> what did I say about people winging? <laughs> Some people are just winging it. <laughs> I'm winging. Everybody's winging it to some degree. Everybody, no, nobody's a master at life. Everybody's just kind of figuring things out as they go. Front credits, which means a, a, a thing, a credit. Sorry, I just need to hear him say all this again. Credit. You're going to get your own billboard on the front credits, which means a, a, a thing. Your own billboard on the front credit. I think he was confusing it with a. I think he meant to say top billing. Like billing, like I don't know if he means a billboard on the front. Unless he's animating billboards, unless there's like bill, unless he's like replacing the text of of actual billboards in the film or something. 
I don't know what's going on. If you want to be a big boy now with the executive. If you want to. Oh, my God. I, you miss some of the things he says because there's so much gold. If you want to be a big boy. Now, that right there is if you want to be a big boy. Now, with the executive producer credit, you're going to get your own billboard on the front credits, which means a, a, a thing, a credit with just your name on it right there, executive producer, you <laughs> right there. And, of course, at the end, you get your It's <laughs> there's no, you. there's no, um... If he just if he released a film of him just doing this, I would buy it. <laughs> like this, this is art. This is this is art, right? A, a thing, a credit with just your name on it, right there, executive producer, you, right there. <laughs> you. And of course, at the end, you get your credit there too. Bam. Now also Bam. with the executive producer credits, I'm doing something that I've never done before. And I mean, it, it costs a lot of money to make these movies, so I'm trying to get a little bit of money back here. So I'm going to offer some things that I, I really don't want to part with. But hey, if you um, I wanted to keep this like COVID props, ball. I tell you what, you come in on the executive producer. I got three sets of props. The first one's in, first come, first serve. You get to choose your one. Now, from this movie, the biggest prop is the coronavirus ball. Eek, I only eek. have one of these, period. And this is the one in the movie right here. It can be yours if you want to be an executive producer. Now, the second one... Sorry, I what? need to... Uh, he, so if you're, if you're an executive producer, um, you get the props, some props. I'm just going to go to the website here. An expeculative um, computer. And we're just going to see... Executive producer costs uh twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> uh <laughs> to be that? But to sorry? To be it? Oh, to get a credit? Oh, okay. Okay. Um Well, you get your name in the credits for only twenty five dollars. And there's still time if anybody wants to do that, by the way. Oh my god. I might. You might? I might. Okay. Um, associate producer credit in the movie is five hundred dollars. That one. I mean, every everything above the twenty five dollar one seems a bit, little bit <laughs> poorly priced. If that's that's the way to say it, poorly. Go back poorly to, price pointed. Go back to how he said executive producer. Uh, I don't know where the times. He he'll say it again. It's like silly. It's I mean. He says it new every time is the problem. Oh. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the timestamp is for executive producer, but we do have other. Okay. Like we'll, we'll just we'll just see how it goes. Yet, and this is the one in the movie right here. It can be yours if you want to be an executive producer. Now the second one, I think, is pretty second. darn cool here. Now this is going to be pretty popular in the movie. Yes, now like this cat, is yeah. Dirty Dolls <laughs> Poison. You want that? Ew. <laughs> I mean, this is the one in the movie. Ah, he's yelling oh, it's not. It doesn't poison it's dogs. <laughs> it's dog. It's, it's poison dogs. from Dirty Dog, who probably farted in it or something. Of and the with the pores of the, the dirty dog balls are flying out. I mean, when you see the special dirty effects, dog and balls I did the spe <laughs> special effects on those too. Hey, it's the first time I've ever really did that before, so I, it turned out pretty cool to all. I'm real happy with it. But um, you get the dirty dog, you get <laughs> the orange death bottle too that was on there. <laughs> yeah. You get so intense. He's scaring me. See, I just. Something I like about Derek is I feel like he's making movies for him in a way. You know, I think I think he likes his movies. It's not it's not so cynical. It is, but it's like at the same time I think he I think yeah, he I'm likes sure what he he's made. They're great. I think he thinks that they're great. I think he likes it almost as much as I do. Oh, you get the orange death bottle too that was on the desk that's when dirty dogs making his thing he, 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 he the last ingredient was this and then the dirty dog spit and that's when all the evil started coming out of the, the poison <laughs> bottle oh no coming out and, of the and, dirty and, dog and, balls. And you also get this in the movie where <laughs> dirty dog is 
you know, make it, you know, to make the first virus ball, this is it. Also, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> there's only one of each, so that's all you got. I got three. That's it. And, and sorry, I like. I like how one of these is just an unmarked glass bottle that he repurposed from, I don't know, like olive oil <laughs> or something. <Mystery> juice. <laughs> these are good props. I like them. But I like, I also, I like even more that, I mean, hopefully someone can get them for $2,500. So that's all you got. Uh. I got three. That's it. And then for the third, you'll see in the movie that Cool Cat gets a very special necklace. It was his granddaddy. I was just one. Necklace, you know, Cool Cat. <laughs> his granddaddy's necklace. Oh my God! I was wondering about that necklace in the Grand previous Pappy clip. Cat. Yeah. So they're gonna. They're probably gonna have a scene where um, Cool Cat has a flashback to his father talking about how he kept his necklace in his ass during the entire war. Or he's gonna be a ghost. Or he's going to be a ghost. You'll see in the movie that Cool Cat gets a very special necklace. It was his granddaddy cat's necklace. You know, Cool Cat always loved his granddaddy cat. <laughs> Black Tower. <cat. laughs> his granddaddy cat left him the magical Cool Cat power necklace. He got a chain. It's like a it's like the Sonichu medallion, but... I wonder if he just kind of... Oh, wait. It has a COVID ball. <laughs> Is it C for Cool Cat or C for COVID? And how did how did Cool Cat's granddad know about COVID before it happened? Or like, True, what's the... Like what's a, the like is that a COVID ball? ball? Is that what he's going for? Is this custom made? Is also, this, this attachment is a little... This kind of breaks the mystique of what's... You need, you need a little better attachment than string there, but, you know. Left him. The magical cool cat power net. I like when he says magical, it's like he believes it as he's looking at it. Daddy cat. He's in trance. Granddaddy cat left him the magical cool cat power necklace. And it gives cool cat special powers, and he <laughs> needs that special power. <laughs> if he's he's one so of the serious. Dirty dog, no. And save you, you and your family. <laughs> From the dirty dog virus, so you better, you better hope, you better pray that Cool Cat's got the strength to take him down, or you might die soon. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and, but and also, remember, remember, he believes he's talking to children. He, he, like, he believes that there's children watching this channel, and he just like, what? he's trying. Oh my God! And this is huh? this this is what the, I you know. There's always something in here. This guy. There's always something that prevents me from being criticized for making fun of someone's speech impediment. This guy is something. <laughs> There's always something in the video that makes people go like, oh, wait. <laughs> I remember who this is. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. So you better, you better hope, you better pray that Cool Cat's got the strength to take him down or you might die soon. You better. This is he justified the the zoom cut with that whole. I'm just I just need to. This is <laughs> this was insane. I just need to watch this you again. Are, I'm sorry. You might this, die. This is how these things go. I need to absorb it for a second time. This is just amazing. This is incredible. Daddy cat and his granddaddy cat here, left him. Talk to me. The Come magical, closer. You might die. Cool cat power necklace, and it gives cool cat special powers, and he needs that special power if he's going to defeat Dirty Dog. And save you, you and your family. You from the dirty dog virus. So you better, you better hope, you better pray that Cool Cat's got the strength yeah, to take yeah. him down, or you might gonna die. Gonna be doing the watch along once this masterpiece comes out. Of course, I have to. But who knows when the actual thing's coming out? Even though he has a date, but yeah. Soon, you better have faith in Cool Cat. And also in this film, don't you forget. We got the Harry and Chad in here, baby doll, my good friend. Yay! Mr. Lieutenant Colonel Art Knowles and his Harrier jet, the world's only civilian Harrier jet. Wait, what? Is in the film. Tim and, Tim a civilian cool owns cat. it. So, guys, hey. That makes it special. Okay. All I got to say to you. And he's, he's going to get a lot of mileage out of it in the film. You can, um, I'm putting everything together now. 
We'll be pre-selling tickets on the website. So, you know, give me a few days at five bucks. Olivia, you got to get this video out soon so that people can get those as associate, associate producer credits in and get those props, okay? We need to make sure that people can make the cut cutout point for this. Each and it's five bucks of pure entertainment, baby doll, December the 9th. I like... <laughs> I like how I like how he never says the runtime and he instead says it's five bucks of pure entertainment. <laughs> Everything together now will be pre-selling <laughs> tickets on the website. So you know, give me a few days at five bucks each, and it's five bucks of pure entertainment, baby. It's doll. five bucks December worth. The night, <laughs> the worldwide virtual Black premiere power. of Cool Cat versus uh. Dirty Dog: The Virus Wars. <laughs> Yes. God bless, guys. God bless. <laughs> Enjoy the movie. Bye bye. He knows. He knows. Oh boy. He just. He just did all three of his signature hand moves in like thirty seconds. He did Black Power, Sieg Heil, and Finger Point. <laughs> wait, where's the? Yo, okay, wait. He pointing at me. Yeah, hold on. He loves. He loves the point. Enjoy the movie. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> the movie's end credits. Oh boy! Incoming banger. <laughs> Hip, hip, the hop, hop, hop. I got a story to tell you about the coolest cat. His oh, so he's okay. What he's doing right now, he's showing now the entirety of how the end credits are edited so that someone who just saw the first six minutes of this video can fantasize about having their own name there and go, like, fuck, I want that could be me. Dad, I want my name there. Somebody can read my I name. I want to be Robbie St Stambouli. This cool cat and the kids love him so, so you better watch out because he's an anti-bullying hero. <laughs> he's the rap master and everyone knows it's true, so you better not forget oh my God. So you're cool too. So if you want to rap and be real cool, then think a cool cat and the rise will come to you. Some rappers talk about crime and violence. I like how he's still reusing this f amazing footage of uh, Jason Johnson dancing in the first film. I like how he's still getting mileage out of that. Derek really knows how to squeeze every last drop of mileage out of every frame mm -hmm. that he films. He really knows how to keep releasing the same footage forever. The real OGs preach that peace is power. The real OGs <laughs> preach that peace is power. <laughs> Derek's got such, he's got his pulse. He's got his pulse on culture. This isn't is what even he, like good, bad. This is just bad. No, it's, it's great. I don't know what you're talking about. This song is terrible. Doesn't sound like you know anything about rap music. Sorry. Nah. I bet ask what makes Cool Cat the rap master. Then they hear his rhymes and they know the answer. So if you're not cool but want to be, then find Cool Cat so it can be a reality. Do you think he recorded this before the beat was sent to him? Do you think he recorded to his own just kind of like made up BPM? And then someone he, and then he found think, the backing track after. I don't think he could flow on any beat. He he might have had the beat beforehand, and this is just his, he, the he best he could do. He could have had the beat, and that was the, his best shot. I think this might have he might have had the beat before he started recording. He's he's from the, the West real Coast, OGs right? preach that peace is power. <laughs> That's a broad cool <laughs> statement, but yeah, I think so. I mean, <laughs> had the rap master, West Coast rapper. Then they hear his rhymes and that. they know the answer. <laughs> So if you're not cool but want to be, then find cool cats so we can be wow. a reality. You're you're just you're dissing Dre. <laughs> wow. There ain't no I mean, hate they make in it all like this a style, like, like Snoop cool doesn't cat rap on beat. Makes it like a, it's, it's cool. It sounds hey, nice. That's debatable. No, it's great because cool cat is. Cool cat is a hero. I rap this beat to make you better. Because in this crazy world, we all need to come together. No. So be cool and listen closely to the rhymes and beats of the true rap master. The this song the true rap, so sweet. The true rap master. Okay, buddy. The true rap master. That's how he, That's how you say it when you are the true rap master. The true rap master. <laughs> Almost like goofy. I almost did my goofy no voice. Way. My ex. Oh, the yeah. rhymes and beats are the you true rap master. Right this song sounds so sweet 
So let's have fun and do a repeat. Yes. No way. Yeah. He found the perfect way to loop it. Like everybody who makes YouTube he, he shorts videos. Plays it twice. Ugh. Yeah. Well, you can't have the you can't have the credits scrolling any faster than this. No one would be able to read the names. Sure. Pip the hop hop hop. I got a story to tell you about the coolest cat. His and I'm gonna get you. <laughs> the credits were almost over, and then it started looping the song what again. That's pretty good. Fuck? Ew. Sorry, this is a children's character. Is what's going on? This is a character intended Hiss. for children. His uh, children media. His get that shit out of my face. Yeah. Two. Yes. He's the rap master and everyone knows it's oh. true. So you better not forget so you're cool too. So if you want to rap and be real cool. Sorry? Is this the Expexican Primusers? <laughs> uh, they don't exist yet. He's tr still trying to fill those slots, despite the movie being apparently finished. Oh, okay. I thought this was just like a. He is. Like he is trying to show you what the end credits thing. would look like with your name in it. Okay. I guess. So you better not be forget. So you're cat. cool too. So you, so you have to remember. Sorry, you have to remember his song. So you're cool too is what he said. I think. Rap master and everyone knows it's true. Like so so you better not forget. So you're cool too. Oh yeah, so you have to you better not forget he's the rat master. Everyone knows it's true. You better not forget. So you're cool too. You're not cool if you forget the cool cat is the rat master. Just FYI. Okay? Oh, is this supposed to be cool cat rapping? I guess so. <laughs> it's a really good I question, this was isn't just it? Like Derek. I know, but the voice of cool cat has changed so much over the years. And is also voiced by Derek, but I think he, I'm it's either a new character talking about Cool Cat or Cool Cat, but Derek can't rap and do the voice at the same time, which <laughs> okay. is not out of the question. It's not so out of the if realm you of possibility. Be real cool. Then think a cool cat, and the rise will come to you. Some rappers talk about crime and violence, but the real OGs cool preach that peace and Jesus. power. Okay. I've been asked what makes Cool Cat the rap master. Then they hear his rhymes and they know the answer. <laughs> Derek is furry. <laughs> Derek is furry. Coming in hot. Nice. Sorry, sorry. Derek I S furry. Funny he didn't catch that. Well, I mean, it doesn't. Mean it doesn't matter if they want to pay yeah, somebody wants to pay fucking a dollar on my patreon to say adam is furry <laughs> mm. i don't care so if you're not cool but want to be then find cool cats so we can be a reality there ain't no hate and all is great because cool cat is full of love for all his mates i rap this <laughs> Mate. Yeah. i just is this the same loop because there's so much i didn't notice the first time to make you better because in this crazy world we it's not 2024 yet derek <laughs> whatever need to come together come together <laughs> <laughs> oh boy all right well i've seen this bumper a lot all right real quick neil breen video and then we're watching the film and then, and then that's it all right we're getting we are well it's just an update i just wanted to we were doing a little back and forth just to see Oh, you're just talking? Uh, yeah, we're just, you know, the t potential ways that a Las Vegas-based filmmaker that, if you're a fan of, you might also be a fan of my videos. Just seeing the different directions that one can take in life is, I was just doing a little compare. I, there were vid new videos from both of them, and I kind of wanted to swap in between, you know, and just do kind of like an art piece. Okay. Sounds good. Because it's already art, but yes. Let's go. Hi, this is Neil Breen. It's November 2023. I wanted to give you all an update on my new feature film, Cade, The Tortured Crossing. It's been a pretty interesting past few months for me in the film. Uh, the film has gotten a few film festival awards. It was given the Best Fantasy Feature Film Award. He's not lying. By the very prestigious Los Angeles-based Real Independent Film Festival. Although very prestigious is up front. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
the big, I like how the word real is in the film festival title. It's spelt R E E L, but it almost sounds like he's trying to legitimize the film festival existing. Like it's a real <laughs> film festival. Real independent film festival. Two days ago, the Cannes Film Festival, Cannes Continental Film Festival. <laughs> He almost said the real, he, he said the real one on purpose. He's like, just to clarify. <laughs> Wait, what? But can't, he, uh, Cannes Film Festival is the most prestigious and important f film festival in the world. Mm -hmm. There's another film festival in Cannes that you can't even find on Google that his film is in. But it's not the Cannes okay. Film Festival, is the okay. funny part, yeah. Festival in uh, France contacted me and said that my film was a selected as a semi-finalist in their film festival which was an official award do you think that he do you think he thought that he was submitting to the other con film festival when he sent it in <laughs> i think i think he thought they were the main guys do you think he accidentally found the wrong i bet he film was doing backflips <laughs> The Los Angeles Real Independent Film Festival um, ran a uh, survey of their entire festival, and Cade, the Tortured Crossing, was awarded the People's Choice Award. The survey, what he's talking about, is an internet vote that he shared the link to on Twitter. Just, <laughs> just FYI. <laughs> I can reset. bombed it. I mean, some would say vote manipulation. I would say the correct film won. And it doesn't matter. Honestly, if any award is decided by an online vote, then it, like you're kind of just asking I mean, you're for asking you're just asking for like whoever has the bigger online following to win yeah. or whoever would be the bigger meme to win. Right? Yeah. That's how Zack Snyder won two Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> the Swiss International Film Festival also selected uh, Cade as an official selection. The London-based London, London Sci-Fi Film Festival chose uh, Cade, The Tortured Crossing, as a uh, film, as an official selection. Little tongue tied Bitties. all these things. Anyway, uh, so that's all very exciting, and the audiences and the festivals have been... He, I like he's doing this all in one take. There hasn't been a cut yet. And you know, okay, who knows? Who knows how many takes he's, he tried of this? Who knows how, if this was his second attempt? Everybody's kind of just winging it. It's only five minutes. You know, some people are better winging it than others. Been very, very supportive of the film. Um, in the past few months, there have been 153 theatrical screenings Woo! of Cade throughout the world. Damn. Throughout I the was United at two States, of them. throughout Canada, Australia, the United Kingdom. I'd see it again if it was playing near me. Ireland, Austria. I was going to say every country. Sweden, the Netherlands. Talk to them. And I'm sure I'm forgetting Keep going. something Keep else. Going. Iceland. Going. Um, Uganda. It's just been terrific. But there's been 153 the theatrical screenings. The audiences love the film. They it's sell true. out the theaters. True. Standing ovations, true. great reviews, <laughs> yes. packed houses. Um, These are all true. And it's just been a terrific experience. So that's been 153 theaters as of today. Uh, I am oh, going true. to... Shut down the theatrical release of the film. <laughs> I'm going to shut down. I was December. on the edge of my seat for however that ended. <laughs> I will put the film up for sale in early January. Neil, if you're listening to this, release your films on Blu-ray. Give us a Blu-ray box set. Even if you're, you, for Getting some reason, me. don't want to sell your first two films anymore for whatever reason, which you've already kind of made clear. Did Just hey, give, us a, give us a Blu-ray. He was going to do it on Blu-ray? Give us, give us a Blu-ray. Give us some Blu-ray box sets. We need physical media. We need the HD version of, of your film physically. We need a 4K. I mean, if you're able to do 4K, that would be even Is better. Is it just going to be online then? I don't know. Well, okay. it sounds like he's actually like selling this film for like proper distribution. I don't know if his okay. previous films, he kind of just like put on iTunes. But 
it sounds like he might be going more legit with this one, which would be great, and I hope encourages him to do that with his other films, and I hope it goes well for him. Okay, cool. A24, I will put... Sorry, did you say A24? Or I will put the film up for sale in early January of 2024. Okay. <laughs> I will put the film on my normal um, digital platforms... Um, at the end of 2024, at the end platforms as yeah. usual are Amazon, YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, and Vudu. They're the same platforms that carry my past films, mm -hmm. Twisted Pair and Faithful Findings. Um, I, to answer other questions, um, and I do try to get back to everyone. Um, I do not have any plans for the next film. Start I, making them! <laughs> I don't have any idea what it may or may not be about. I trust I trust you, Neil. Take your time. Art needs time. Whatever you need it to yeah, be, it'll, it'll be it, perfect. Boy. It'll be perfect. Um, as always, I welcome investors, although I've never had an investor to date, but my next film will be big enough that I will need investors, major investors. Uh, but once again, it's November 2023. Right, if somebody, do if somebody, somebody donates a million dollars to me, I'll be his investor. <laughs> somebody buy in. Uh, I wanted to bring everyone, everyone up to date. You'll get that On back. the film festival selections, the 153 theaters. I mean, if, you, if an investor is able to convince him to like distribute the film like in a slightly different way, I'm sure you could make your money back. Surely. I'm sure you really could make your Surely. money back on a Neil Breen film. It wouldn't cost even if, much at all. Even if the budget all. was like yeah. over a million dollars, I'm sure. Like the I'm sure there's a way, way to make that back dollars. for sure. World that has it just needs the proper like marketing. <laughs> Green fate, uh, Neil Breen would have gave the tortured budget. crossing to fantastic receptions, and um, that's really about it for now. It is a little niche. <laughs> I will say that, but. <laughs> I feel like you could do it. If the if the fucking room if Word Tommy was always the room can be successful in that way. I, Neil Breen could do it and it deserves it more. Stronger. Keep everyone updated. I support I appreciate uh all the indie support that I've gotten. It's really uh Touched my heart, and giving me uh, we touched him a lot of motivation to go forward and forward. Uh, everything's been very profitable for me, and uh, very successful. Thank you again. We'll talk to you soon. I'm so proud. The best way to get updates on the film what the fuck? is to go to <laughs> at Neil Breen. He forgot to include it so. on X slash Twitter, and follow me there. The website for the film is www.cade that's where it all started that damned smile dash crossing.com you can also follow neil breen on facebook thank you neil so proud what a kind and gentle soul who is very easy to support because of them being a good person <laughs> you know it's really there's no there's no controversy no one's wondering whether or not they should support neil people know people know they should it's your duty it's your duty to support neil hey guys olivia here thank you all so much for watching it's November 2023, so here are all of my amazing patrons. My $5 and up patrons are Brock H, Eck, Clarice Carlson, Tyler Cukes, Nico Fuentes, Joel999, Riggle Moss, Speak of the Joker, Scott S, Joan of Fart, Skinot On, Happy the Knife, Coolest Shirt, just a Portuguese dude. www.openclassactions.com Emil Blank Judum the Kinslayer Big Guy T King Saliv88 Electrica is an ordinary bad gamer. 
Yup, yup, yup. Caden Mack. Charisma. The Super One Player. Zachary Kane. Gilly Flower. Purple Fire. Gabriel Herrera. Hoofido. And Lemonade Warrior is participating in the hit game Among Us and is considered the encroacher. I stream my editing process on Twitch and Kick under the name Olivia Mancer. If you ever want to stop by and say hi, those are linked in the description. I also stream games sometimes. Anyway, shameless plug out of the way. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. Later, and take care.